Hello and thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan with your forecast across New Zealand and Australia. And right now we've got a colder change on the way for New Zealand. It's about to drop temperatures in both main islands by 10 degrees over the next day or so. Behind it uh, is another big high and that will bring in some frosty weather before the next blast comes in this weekend. And the southeastern side of Australia, you've got a pretty similar weather pattern to New Zealand at the moment. It's a bit all over the place. Typical autumn weather though. So let's try and make sense of it. Now the temperatures are certainly about to drop, but for today, Tuesday, they are warmer than average. This is the departure from normal. And as you can see, the areas in red, four to eight degrees above where they should be for this time of the year. Parts of Canterbury and Christchurch potentially over eight degrees warmer than average. Certainly been much warmer than usual over the last day or two, both overnight temperatures and daytime ones, as we saw in Hawke's Bay yesterday, getting up to 27, 28 degrees, which is pretty crazy for May. Now let's take a look at tomorrow, Wednesday, what a change. In comes that colder airflow and now you've gone from being much warmer than average to much cooler than average, especially inland areas in the dark blue four to eight degrees below normal. It gets into the lower half of the North Island but the upper half is actually quite mild, warmer than average to begin with but it should end the day cooler than average and certainly by the time we get into Thursday you'll feel that colder change coming through. Right we've got an animation for you here it's a little bit fast but we'll try and uh, explain to you what is about to move through so let me start here this is the rain moving up there's the timestamp for you Tuesday that rain is coming up and across the country as we go in towards Wednesday and then as we head in towards sort of Thursday that rain lingers over on the eastern side of the North Island. That is very good news. We need some rain there, and the latest data is certainly suggesting that. So as you can see, it moves up the country. Then behind it, as we move through, just repeating it again for you, high pressure comes in behind it, and that's what will bring in that frosty weather into the South Island over the next couple of days. So with that cold change coming through, we've got some snow coming in around the South Island. As you can see, it's not a coastal snow event, it's an inland snow event. The dark blue showing 10 centimetres of snow possible for you over the next 24 hours. And as we move into Wednesday, it moves up around the Kaikoura Ranges and a, a few snow flurries getting into the central plateau as well. Only a few though, not much. It, it'll barely even settle, but they might settle around the uh, desert road Keep an eye on that if you're driving anywhere around there. So let's take a look at the actual forecast. Here is Wednesday, that cold change moving up into the lower half of the North Island. It will move into the upper half by the probably much by the end of the day as it moves on in. That big high coming behind it, locking in the cold. So you've got frosty weather coming in the South Island. The best thing about this map, the rainfall in the eastern side of the North Island where it is very overdue and will be welcome. Take a look at the rainfall figures at weatherwatch.co.nz or ruralweather.co.nz. We're New Zealand's most accurate rainfall forecaster, even though we're not perfect, we're the most accurate. So have a look at our rainfall totals. You can sort of see where this is going to, uh, well, what the levels are likely to be where you live in that eastern side. It will vary and the heavier falls will be around Wairo. Now as we go into Thursday, look at that, more rain up in that northeastern side. This is an easterly coming through. This is exactly what we needed. Now with this very big high nearby, it only takes that high moving a little bit further north and that rain falls apart. So that's why you've got to keep up to date with those forecasts. Our rainfall forecast for your local area updates every hour. So it's well worth keeping up to date, checking a few times a day to make sure that it's not changing too rapidly away from what we're talking about right here. There is a fine line in this zone just south of Napier and Hastings, so you're kind of on the cusp of that rain. And I got a complaint about for a couple of people in Northland saying we're not talking about Northland enough. Well, I only talk about the regions where there's weather happening. So if I'm not talking about you, it's probably very dry and not a lot going on. And that's pretty much the forecast. Uh, there might be a couple of showers around Northland though over the next few days, so that is some good news. Now look, as we get to the end of the week on Friday, that system moves away. Back come the warm northerly and northwesterly winds. Here comes the next rainmaker. And our final map for Saturday shows a stormy Saturday in some parts of New Zealand and Australia also. We'll start with Aussie. You've got the southerlies blowing through there, wintry weather, snow on the mountains, uh, wet cold southerlies coming into Melbourne and Hobart and later on a wet cold southwester comes into Sydney. Jump over to New Zealand on Saturday, exact same forecast. Another low down here, this is a storm, 965, that's pretty deep and that will send up this big cold surge of weather into the South Island. Gale force winds, heavy rain, 
But as you go further and further up the country, I'm sorry, again, far north, but the reason I'm not really talking about you is because nothing's really happening. You'll get a little burst of that front, so will Auckland, so will Bay of Plenty, but the, for the most part, the energy on Saturday will be down here around the South Island. Uh, actually, we do have one more map. We've got into Sunday as well. I uh, forgot about that. So we've got warm nor'westers on uh, Sunday for the North Island, so that's a bit of a shift around in the South Look at this map. I mean, this just looks like autumn written all over it. So you've got a bit of a change, some heavy falls, probably a thunderstorm or two, gusty nor'westers, and that'll be changing again to another southerly. So this weekend coming up, pretty interesting weather to talk about. Before I go, the departure from normal for the next seven days, rainfall, and what it shows, that bit of blue over there in Hawke's Bay, gosh, we hope that stays there. It'll be really good if it does. It's in the right spot. Could be a little bit further south maybe, but still, you've got some rain coming through there. But like I say, it's, pretty, it's a pretty fine line between where that rain is and where it's drier than average or about normal. So don't get too excited about it, but I hope it just gives you a little bit more optimism uh, that we've got a bit of change in our forecast now that we're in a neutral weather pattern. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update. <laughs>